we're here at Buffalo Ridge doing a, um, the Beyond D.O.W. muzzleloader workshop. Hopefully it's our agency's 25th year uh, that we've offered the program. The Becoming Outdoors Woman program, we offer over 20 different classes throughout the weekend and, you know, uh, introduction to deer hunting. We also have a muzzleloader class. And, Over the years, the ladies would take some of the classes, and you know, the classes are great, but we want to go hunting. See, my husband has tried for 30 years to even go deer hunting with him, and I wouldn't go because I told him it was a man's thing. He needed to go with his friends. Probably about 15 years ago, we started doing the Beyond B.O.W. Um, workshops in which we focus on single topics, such as um, what we're doing here this weekend at Buffalo Ridge Refuge. We have uh, 31 women that have been through the Outdoor Woman program that are taking part in a, a women's only uh, muzzleloader workshop. Pretty accurate assessment. First day we'll have the ring set up. Um, we probably, you know, loan out eight or ten loaner muzzleloaders also for participants aren't confident in their own muzzleloader, they can go out to the range, go through their muzzleloader, make certain their scopes are on, or if they want to use one of ours, we do that. We're trying to sight in some muzzleloaders. You know, I hate to say it, but I think girls do shoot better than guys. <laughs> so they got a, better, a steadier hand, they listen better, uh, they don't have that macho effect, I guess you could say. And if you tell them to put that finger on that trigger and ease it back, that's what they'll do. For one thing, it, it, I, ha I had to take the TWRA course to do it, and that gave me uh, confidence in doing it because I, I studied it and I learned the rules and learned about guns, and then my husband being a hunter, he helped me with it, and then when this was possible to come to, it just opened a whole door, a world for me to do it, and I, I probably would not have been able to uh, embrace it like I have without this avenue. We'll have a nice meal that Friday night and then we kind of go over the do's and don'ts and answer questions for participants, make certain they know exactly how everything's going to happen the next day. And then uh, we hit the ground running about 4.30 the next morning. You know, if it wasn't for our volunteers, none of this would ever be possible. Everybody pitches in wherever there's a need, from taking out the trash to cooking meals to, you know, pitching in, uh, looking for deer, dragging deer. So we actually, you know, take the women to their tree stands, make certain they get in the shooting house or get in their tree stand. Then at a designated time, we pick up the ladies. Um, if they're fortunate enough to get a deer, we want to get them involved with as much as possible. We'll do the blood trailing, you know, and if they want to learn how to even field dress a deer. Oh my, it was so exciting. It was freezing to begin with. It was really cold and windy. I think it was 34 degrees, but, and we were luckily in a shooting house, which which kept some of the elements away from us, but we had three windows and they were all open and we were plenty cold. I should have worn a heavier coat, but um, the exciting thing was we saw two beautiful bucks. One was like a six or seven pointer, one was a nine pointer, and they just came up and taunted me and teased me. <laughs> they did not stand properly. They looked me straight on instead of giving me their side so I could shoot him and uh, the other one wouldn't slow down long enough for me to get him in the scope to shoot him. But I got a good look and my heartbeat went crazy. <laughs> the whole shooting house shook. <laughs> it's a woman's hunt, you know? So the women are together and we all feel, we empower each other. Everybody tells encouraging things to each other, you know, and tells you to hang in there. It'll be better this afternoon if you don't see anything in the morning or, or you did the right thing by not taking that shot if it was a head-on, you know, straight shot, and it, it encourages you. And you don't feel competition with other women. You feel power with other women. You do. How about guess that? What? <laughs> Listen, you ought to, you, you thought we had drama this morning. You should have seen the drama tonight, right, Wendy? It was, it was amazing. My gun misfired five times, and I had to use her gun. You got the job done, though, didn't you? <laughs> I think I'm ready to go collapse. <laughs>